Hey folks, it's finally done. Scraping is over. At least I hope so. <laughs> and yeah, I have uh, scraped the uh, bed here now and it went really well. So it, it didn't took a lot of time. I think around 10 hours for the linear guide surfaces here. I'm not sure how long it took for the column, but I think it was more like 30 hours or something like that. So the bed was uh, way faster. And yeah, it, everything went fine. And I also scraped the surfaces here in the back, the column and the bed, the, uh, where they meet together. So the column is already standing in the right angle, or right angle. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much just done. It really feels good to be able to assemble everything and know that it's accurate and that I won't have to take it apart again. Um, yeah, I took a few small clips from the bed where I scraped that and from the assembly here. I will show you now and then we will meet back here again. Before I put the column on the base here, I want to mount the linear rays because it's just easier like that. And I can also easily uh, measure if everything uh, went right with the mounting here. Uh, here you can also see why I used the angle grinder in the last video here on the base. I made a little bit of a relief cut in the middle here and then it was easier to scrape the surfaces on the two sides here because the column will only rest on these two sections here. So this saved a lot of time. So let's mount the rays, finally. Uh, this is the first print with the column here, it's standing there. And I'm not sure if you can really see anything on the video here. But on this surface here, there is a very blue stripe here with a lot of bearing points. Less bearing points in the middle and no on the side. So this surface is tilted in this direction. And the other surface, nah, I think you cannot really see anything of the blue here. Maybe, maybe like that. There are two stripes at the edges where blue points are visible and some in the middle, but way less in the middle. So this is uh, concave in the middle here. But it shouldn't take too long to uh, scrape that surfaces in to get a good bearing, so let's go!
Before I can show you the alignment of the column, I of course have to screw it down. For that I'm using 6M16 threaded rods here, just going in there. And uh, I will do that now quickly and then I will show you the alignment. So let's have a look at the alignment of the column. Um, the camera position is a little bit odd. It's basically hanging from the ceiling. So here over there is the column. Down here is the bed. And I have placed the granite square parallel to the column. So it's basically this squareness now. And I put the indicator there, there's a resolution of 2 micrometer per division. And it's at the top now and shows zero. So let's move the carrier down. It's a little bit difficult with the tripod here. So, and that's basically it. It moved maybe three to four micrometer a little bit and that's perfectly fine right up there. Because the accuracy of the granite square is only six micrometer over the whole length so I'm well within the, what the measurement tool here accuracy is. Let's check the other direction of the column. I put the granite square on the carrier here and let's mount the dial indicator. A little bit difficult because the weight of the magnetic base is enough for the carrier to move on its own. So I always have to support it down here. Let's put it to zero. That looks good. And Moving down, it's pretty much minus two micrometer. So it's wiggling around a little bit, but it's basically the same at the start and end point. So that looks pretty good. And some of you might think now, wait, when you mount the set axis here, won't the column tilt uh, forward a little bit? And yes, you're right, but I already loaded the column with the uh, proper weight. So that's like a simulated set axis. And yeah, now it fits with the weight. And I will show you the measurement without the weight now. And let's see what the result is. I zeroed the indicator down here and let's move up. And there you can see that it shows around four micrometer. So the weight of the set axis causes the column to deflect about four micrometer over 250 millimeter of travel. So I have compensated that and oh, everything should be fine now. To summarize everything, I think scraping was pretty much the best option I had here because I was able to uh, adjust such little errors like the, with the weight of the set axis, the tilting of the column, and uh, I didn't have to clamp down the parts for machining or something like that, so uh, there was no risk to warp them while clamping. And yeah, I'm also pretty happy that I tried scraping and now I know how scraping works and I don't have to fear any inaccuracies that might come up here because I know, well, I'll just scrape it and then it will fit perfectly. Yeah, I think that's all for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated. And if you want to support me a little bit more then I also have a Patreon account. I link it down in the description because this 
whole project wouldn't have been possible without the support of all the people around I met via YouTube and so on. So yeah, I hope I will see you next time and goodbye.